everybody, welcome back to another episode with Linux Guy. Today I'm going to be talking about XFAT in Linux. So it turns out XFAT was a proprietary file system until real recently. For those of you who don't know, XFAT was a format developed by, I believe, Microsoft with the intent of making there be something to replace FAT32 as a universal, we can transfer our files anywhere format. FAT32 had a big problem. It could only hold a file size that was so big. I believe that size was 5 gigabytes. Someone correct me if I'm wrong. Now, FAT could hold more than 5 gigabytes, but one file itself could not exceed that size. So if you had a 12 gigabyte video file, for example, that's totally uncompressed or something along those lines, you could not store it in FAT. And so the solution was XFAT. Let's make a new format that can handle it. And XFAT can handle exponentially more space than FAT32 ever could. So they did this, and they made it proprietary, because of course they did. There were ways to deal with it on Linux, but those have only gotten better because recently, XFAT was open sourced. Because of that, you'll find it now in Ubuntu 20.04, Pop OS 20.04, and many new releasing Linux distributions that are coming out now because of its universal compatibility, so you can share your files all over the place. Now I am on Pop OS 20.04 and I have to say that although there is source code here, there are tools installed automatically for it, it's not exactly the same experience as it is on Windows or Mac with the ability to reformat your drive. So I'm going to plug in a drive to my computer right now and you'll see it pop up and let's open it with files. So you see there's nothing in here. Let's go ahead and make a file. So there's our file. It's stored in XFAT. You can see I'm actually writing with this natively. It loaded natively. If you are on an older version of Ubuntu or Pop OS, you're going to need a package to be able to do this. That package is called XFAT Utils. So you're going to need this in order to be able to read stuff. I'm going to tell you to go ahead and also install XFAT Fuse. This will just make your life easier in a few circumstances. So go and install both of these. with this command right here. So if you just type in that command and run it, you'll be able to install them on your older Pop OS or Ubuntu setup if you're not on 20.04. If you're on 20.04, these should be installed automatically. If for some reason they aren't, go ahead and install them. Same command. All right, we've got our test file here, and we made it. Cool. So we've got read and write access on an XFAT drive. This is formatted to XFAT. What if I wanted to format it, though? Well, it only gives me the option for ext4, ntfs, or fat, which we can assume is fat32. So our file browser, at least, can't do it. What about gparted? gparted is probably my favorite editor for disks on Linux that exists at the current time. So sdf is the right size. This is it. And you see there is our xfat partition. Let's unmount it and see if we can reformat it to XFAT. You will see we still can't. Let's check one more place, shall we? Open up that terminal. And let's check that one place. So for those of you who don't know, CFDisk is basically FDisk, which is a Linux formatting tool for the command line. But it gives you a GUI-ish experience, even though it's still in the command line. So we want to do cfdisk for slash dev slash sdf, which is my flash drive. And there you see we have a Microsoft file system. What if I wanted to change the type? I'm not going to write any of these changes, but let's just see if xfat is here. After skimming through, I don't see anything called xfat. Now, you see here, this is called Microsoft Basic Data, according to cfdisk. That's how it sees it. So it is possible that if we format to Microsoft Basic Data, we will get the format we want. I would not hold my breath. So basically what I'm showing you with all of this stuff is that while it is possible to read and write from a pre-formatted XFAT disk, I am finding no programs that will actually allow me to format a disk to XFAT, and I find that problematic. I think if I'm going to find myself using a format a lot, I'd really like to be able to create that format right on my desktop, and I don't seem to have that capability. If someone has found a program that can do this, please leave it in the comments to share with us, and I'll even mention it in the next one if I notice the comment. 
But that's the state of XFAT in Linux right now. It's definitely usable. I'm really glad we have read writeability, even if you have to install something on your older builds. And because they've open sourced it, I suspect soon we're going to see more integration, more abilities in the future. But it would have been nice to see that in 20.04 of Pop OS here, since they supposedly released support for it, but I'm not seeing that support. Again, somebody correct me if I'm wrong, but here's how I see XFAT right now. I wanted to draw everyone's attention to it, so they know it's usable and its limitations in Linux. As always, thank you for watching The Linux Guy. Please follow us on Library and make sure to send us a tip if you feel so inclined. For those of you who don't know what Library is, it is an alternative to YouTube, and you YouTubers are not getting your videos until a day after the people on Library. So head over there and find us on there, or find us on BitChute, and we will see you in the next one.